start this lesson by using watercolor paper or mixed media paper or use a clean journal spread. I used a square page, but you can use paper of any size. I also use masking tape to add a nice clean edge along the sides. This is optional. Next, we're going to choose our background color and paint it on the background with acrylic paint. I chose a nice teal blue metallic called DecoArt Extreme Sheen Aquamarine. You can choose any color you'd like. The next thing we're going to do is create our very own stamp. For this I used an old bottle cap and a glue gun uh, with a hot glue stick. And I just added some of the glue onto the bottle cap and swirled it around and then let it dry. And once it dries, uh, the surface of the glue is not going to be very even and that's what I used as my stamp. The next step, of course, is to add some paint to the stamp and place it all over your journal page. I did this randomly and I chose the color Titanium White. You can choose any color you'd like. Make sure your stamps are completely dry before moving on to the next step. The next thing I did was take some titanium white and uh, I put very little on my paintbrush, almost a dry brush technique, and uh, created a series of just circular marks, large circular marks in the center of the journal page. Next, using some carbon black, create a circle in the center of your journal page. Fill it in completely with the carbon black. Once you do this, hold the paintbrush very lightly at the end of the paintbrush so that you don't have very good uh, control of the line. And then just start making some swirls going outward from that black circle. Once you complete that step, uh, then you can go ahead and add some fun black splatter onto your background as well. Sorry about that. For this step, I had my recording glitch a little bit, but as you can see, um, I've added some nice dark black lines around the edges. Again, just messy and free. And then I also did this step um, around the black circle in the middle with some white as well. Some nice thick white sketchy lines around the center.
Now it's time to add the bird to the center of the black circle. I used some titanium white acrylic paint and a rubber stamp, but you can add the bird image by using clip art. Um, you can paint it in or you can use a rubber stamp as well. Now we're going to add some leaves to use sketchy swirly lines to make it look more nest-like. So I used carbon black and a thin paintbrush and I uh, drew in the leaves and I chose to fill in some of them and leave some of them open, but that is totally your choice. Uh, so go around your circle and add some leaves to your nest. Now we're going to add in some fun little white accents. I added uh, little five or six sided flowers with a titanium white all around the nest. The final step for this lesson is to add some fun little dot accents. So you can use the wrong end of your paintbrush as a dotting tool, or if you have a dotting tool available, you can use that, um, or a pencil tip, or um, if you want them a little larger, you can even use an eraser. But I first added some uh, dots with white, and then I went back and added some fun dots with the black as well. And that was the final step. After this, you can carefully remove the tape, and you're finished.